Could Charlie explain this? So it's a, it's a strong statement from this competitor today, mm. a man called uh, Frederick Fitzreiterdank, uh, who's a director of suppliers uh, for medical equipment and uh, some gloves. He, he runs two companies, Novum Group and uh, MB MedTech. He's told GB News today, a very bold statement, that the UK HSA is engaged in cronyism, he believes, in how it's awarding these contracts. They gave £238 million to, uh, worth of contract to this company, uh, Medco, last week to run from yesterday, February the 20th, until August the 20th mm. in supplying lateral flow tests. Now, more controversially with this issue is that um, Filter Writer Dank, this competitor, and dozens of other suppliers have been applying for the same contract since it went up in June the 13th uh, of last year. Mm. So over six months, they've not been evaluated on this thing called a dynamic pricing system. In 2021, the average time to be evaluated was just under two weeks. Now, it's been well over six months. A lot of these companies are saying, well, why weren't we, why weren't mm. we looked at? Why weren't we assessed? So... Um, uh, this, uh, this competitor, he spoke to me earlier, he said that cronyism makes it near impossible to break into central procurement, which is underpinned by personal relationships. So very strong terms here. Mm. Um, the Health Security Agency obviously got back to us on this. Yes. They gave us a statement. I think we've got a statement, actually, haven't we? Uh, problem, now, yeah. so they, they picked out in particular the issue that they were extending a contract they already had. But of course, the competitors said, well, why didn't you come to us and, uh, and, and ask us for our input on this? And they also went on to say that these evaluations have taken place over a two-stage process and mm. that because they've got enough for now, they're not going to continue to uh, evaluate anyone else and they're pausing these evaluations for other companies. Now, that's news to these suppliers. They've mm. been applying for six months. They've been uh, asking for the agency to get back to them and ask them for the standard of, uh, okay. of their testing and they've heard nothing. So... This is the first time, I think, that the agency has announced on this particular pricing system, on this application, that they're pausing them. Uh, now, what is the effect on the taxpayer for this as, yep. we, as we hook this story? Well, uh, a lot of these competitors think that it might be making things more expensive. We know, for example, that Lithuania, a competitor in the EU for purchasing tests, its most efficient bid was 44 pence per test. Right. By contrast, in Britain, the most efficient bid we've ever had is 95 pence a test, so 117% increase on the most efficient okay. Lithuanian bid. Is that being caused by poor procurement? Well, the debate is still on on that. The debate is still on, but look, Charlie, thank you very much for bringing us that. Yet another exclusive there from Charlie Peters. Thank you so, so much.